things just changed quickly. XRP is trending right now with 2.85 million tweets and it actually shows here the fact that price is making some surprises for a lot of people for sure. Now, if you actually go back to look at what the price action was showing us, to get an idea, this was the pattern. Three candle reversal structure which formed the we gave you that. Then, if you missed that one, for sure, the next one was the bull flag. Now, we broke that to the upside. Now, say you missed that one too. Great. The price action did show you that it is doing this particular stuff, which is actually great to see because on the short term or micro, short, medium term, all of them showing you a bullish reversal in this asset does indicate that this particular asset is about to take off. Now, why do I think so? That's what I'm going to actually explain in detail so you know what's coming ahead. There will be correction for sure. But the next leg up is going to be surprising and the next leg up is going to be monstrous. Welcome to the Scientific Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of this crypto world. Right now, while we look at these charts, it kind of gives you a clear picture. The RSI bounced off the trend line. You're moving higher. It all looks good. And if you look at where the price is right now, this is getting really close to a resistance where the price happened to respect that particular level for four different weekly candles. Either the close or the open. You kind of really touched on to that particular range. But now go down in the RSI and look at uh, what happened back then, right? So you were in this particular range while you way at that 0.51, 0.52 in the price action. But right now, the RSI is at 60. So you need a little bit less strength to reach the same price point, which means either the sellers are backing out or the bulls are ramping in, they are rallying in. And it kind of goes in with the thought process here. People are actually understanding like, okay, I may be missing out. Let me jump in, right? I don't want to miss this one. But that's where things kind of get a little bit too much heated and market kind of cools off a little bit. You guys have to watch on to that too. We're going to actually go through all those stuff, right? Because we actually showed you this thought process before saying there is a lot in similar with the recent past, meaning the wave one preparing into the wave two kind of looks a lot in similarity, right? And that's one of the reasons why when we look at this, now I'm surprised a bit because I was thinking like, okay, maybe we're going to get a month of consolidation before we go up. But then what happens? The price action starts to show you all these reversal signals. And we've been consistent on at least last four, five, six videos, completely showing you XRP is about to dominate, showing you this particular bull flag zoomed in, giving you that idea that this is happening right now. But yeah, again, when you say stuff, at the bottom, it's really hard to agree or believe onto that. But right now, what you have to understand is XRP is trying to dominate and it's not over. Believe me, it's not over yet. Look at the history. This is Bitcoin with XRP. Now, okay, let's be fair. Let's actually make both of them in the line chart. Great. Now, the black one here is XRP and the or orange is actually Bitcoin, great. Both are actually kind of scale so that we get the clear performance. While you look at this, you go hit the Bitcoin, then you go back down. Then for a few short period, you actually go back up, hit that Bitcoin. You go back down, great. Then again, you go back up to the Bitcoin or above that and you go back down. So you are repeating this thing again and again and again and yet again. Right. So here, if I say we are going to go hit that level, I don't think that's crazy because we have been doing that in the past, in the recent past, all along. Right. And when we go back to the RSI, it does show you the fact that we have some room to the upside. But the issue here is this is a weekly chart. You may need patience to see how this 
scenario evolves. Now, say this actually goes higher, we kind of go to this range. What does that actually mean? Because now, if you are a macro guy thinking, okay, I'm not taking profit at these small ranges, I'm looking for a higher price. Not the 10,000, the 50,000, I'm talking about something sensible. Now you go back and look at what the monthly chart shows you, and it really is interesting, isn't it? We talked about the scenario yesterday saying, okay, most likely scenario is going to be like this, where we'll actually move up, showing you instead of a hanging man, we may actually show you a hammer, which would be bullish because we opened at the same range, yes, bears came in, pushed the price lower here at this particular point, but then what happened? Bulls came in, bought back all those units which the bears sold into the market. So the demand came back into the market. And this particular monthly candle, that of April, happens to be an inside candle. So if we go above 0.54 and close this candle, that's massively bullish. Say we don't, we remain below that. Does that mean it's bearish? No, yeah, we are below a resistance on a monthly, but do understand the fact that there are more than that to it, right? If you actually go look at the macro picture here, we discussed about this. But the picture which I would like to highlight is like, understand this fact. We closed here and I was saying, okay, this range is really important as a monthly support. But what was the issue back then? A lot of people in the market were selling you the lower loan narrative. So it was really hard and confusing for a lot of you who watch a lot of different channels to make a decision whether we are going lower or we're going to bounce back up, you know, that kind of thought process was still there. But in 24 hours, we're going to get the daily candle close. It's going to be really great to see with a monthly candle close. And if we actually see what you are observing right now in the price action, somewhere close to this or anyway in this corrective range above this level, that is going to be ultimately bullish. Now, why is that? And what does that mean for the price action? Because on the other side here, we clearly discussed about this for many, several, several times so that you guys have an edge in the market, right? We went through this stuff in detail. So you actually understand the fact that, okay, this was a possibility. We would bounce off from here. And right now, looking at the price action, it did happen. Yeah, it took a month for sure. This was a monthly chart where it showed you the reversal. Right now, while we observe that the market kind of showed you it's doing this, it kind of also gave us the clear picture like, okay, this is happening. But what's the point for caution here? You may actually see this happening in 2021, right? You come back down, but instead of the D leg here, you go back about that and then you get rejected there. Now, the difference is that happens after a run up from 0.11 the price actually went close to $2 before these corrective pattern came in. So that's the market psychology. So if you actually go through and read this guy's book, it kind of gives you a lot of wisdom. And then you come back to the market, you take a view of the market like this, macro picture, micro picture, looking at it on a macro narrative. Now you get to think better. So here against Bitcoin, on a weekly, a macro look, you're actually watching that there is a lot of possibility that we are going to this level, which in Bitcoin terms may not actually seem huge fluctuation, but just measure that. What do you actually think? If against Bitcoin, XRP is going to do a 100% move up, Bitcoin is not a depreciating asset. So basically, what are you actually looking at? One, that's just a range structure showing you a possible breakout. Great. Now look at the RSI. What does that show you? Because this does matter because now we're gonna take off the wave structure from the price action and we're gonna just look for the basic pattern, which is easy and clear. So you know how high we are actually gonna go, right? If you go back and then look at the trends here, what you're observing is that we came down to a support level, we bounced off. We broke that level. But when we came back up, we respected that level. So now that's confirmed as a support resistance range. Great. Now you broke that to the upside on a weekly. That's something to watch. Because if you look at the trading range here, the momentum 
at which it is moving higher does show you the one, two, three structure which is forming in the market, which is going to be great. Now, as I just told you, we're going to remove all this and we're going to just look at the pattern side of things. We just want to see like, okay, this is how the price action moved. And if the price action is about to show us what we just discussed, that's going to be a break and it's not like, you know, you have to do a lot in terms of price movement to break that. It's just 20% move. And we just saw, you know, XRP can actually do these kind of moves for sure. And last couple of times, this is 2021 rally here, right? You literally had a long way to go to reach that resistance range. Now, it also happens to be a horizontal range of resistance, right? So you get the picture here. Once you break the structure... Now, that's your wave to beginning. That's a 500 person run up against Bitcoin. So those who watch this channel regularly already understand the fact that we went through that stuff here in detail, right? The price explosion is coming before this actually started. Now you take the same perspective and you see that, okay, there is a huge possibility. We are going to match that move. And that will happen while Bitcoin is also moving up. So that means the price action is going in terms of USD is going to be mind boggling for sure. It's going to be confusing. It's going to be volatile. I'm not saying it's easy here in the market to understand things because it definitely is not. There is a lot happening in the market. But if you actually keep your emotions away and just go with the market, which is the charts here for us, it did show you an engulfing candle. It did show you a continuation pattern. And right now, here we are. We are looking for positive movement this entire week. The monthly is about to close, which is even bigger scenario. Why? Because when we go back, looking at the history, we do understand that this level of resistance is now turning into a support. Did we talk about that way earlier? We did. Because if we bounce off from here, that's like the region 2. You go back to 0.42, you go back to new highs. This was the thought process which we conveyed. So now we jump back into the market and ask like, okay, this is actually bouncing higher. What does the RSI show you? The RSI show you massive movements. Now, yes, while you look at the charts like this, it does show you a lot of noise for sure. That's why I personally go on to the Hikinashi charts and look for what I'm watching, right? And it kind of gives me an easy picture. Because I'm like, okay, we just broke to the upside, come back down, bounce, that's going to be bullish. Why? Historically speaking, we have done that again and again and again. You just blow through that after your accumulation range. Sometimes what happens, the accumulation range is a little bit longer. That kind of irritates investors, for sure. Time and patience is going to be really hard. But right now, if you go on a daily chart, this actually shows you that's the trend. Don't go against the trend. If you go on a three-day chart, that shows you the trend. Hikinashi is useful in that sense, right? Then you go on a weekly to see, are we taking off or are we at the roof? That's a tight question, right? Here, it just shows you like, we're just starting this off. The first time, it's like this. The second time, it's like this. Now, you're starting the next leg to the upside. That definitely gives you an edge in the market to say like, okay, let me go into a short-term scenario. What am I looking at? There is a possibility. You may see some correction. Now, it can be a perfect buying opportunity if you are like, okay, I missed that opportunity. But if it's me, I would actually say like, okay, I've actually seen at least three or four individuals today where they shorted the market. I would say don't do that, guys. And if even if you are doing that, make sure you use a tiny, teeny bit of your portfolio to do that. But using 50, 70, 80% of your portfolio to do that kind of stuff just because some YouTuber told that, don't do that. Even if it's me, I'm giving you my thought process, my opinions. I can be right, I can be wrong. And it's your money. So what you have to do is to understand this. That's where Hohen Marx, when he says failure of imagination, kind of gives you this stuff. Now, what does he mean by that? Being unable to conceive full range of possible outcomes or not fully understanding the extreme occurrences, right? So the market kind of acts weird a lot of times. But 
if you have the time, the patience to sit back and understand whether we are breaking through this. Maybe it's going to take another 10 days to break through that. But if you wait for the breakout, you get the confirmation, right? Great. Now, if you come back to retest that level and bounce off, that's another positive signal for anyone and everyone in this market. Because when the market goes up, for sure, it's not only going to be XRP as an asset moving up. You can go look at Bitcoin. Yes, as we discussed last video and the video before and the video before, we came to this range. Now, you are at that support. So if the price is bouncing off from this level and breaking through, say, for example, 28,000, that's bullish. Now, if it gets rejected breaking through the support, yeah, you're going to come back down to 25. Maybe that's going to be volatile and painful. But go on to a weekly chart, right? It kind of makes a lot of sense here. Right now, if you actually look at the weekly charts, like the one, the two, the three, the four, and the five seems to be pending, right? So unless you actually really go back with some momentum, there is some issue. But now, going back to what we just talked about in XRP, right? We just come here, we like look at this particular pattern and how did that evolve, right? You kind of see like, okay, the market never gives you the textbook pattern, but right now you kind of have something similar. So the weekly candle close this week is going to be super important for Bitcoin. Now, yeah, right now we don't have that. So what can we do? We go up here and we look at the daily chart. And on the daily chart, what we can observe is clearly this was the resistance. We broke that to the upside. Now that's acting as a support that's actually bullish so one you're going to look at this particular trend line and see whether we are going up or down now to reduce noise you can go on to a line chart and see we are still here we have some more room to the upside we want to see whether we break to the upside or get rejected that is going to be your confirmation right now take the same perspective and jump on to the ether the altcoin side of things that is undeniably becoming bullish if you have less like two three months things are actually changing we got a lot of macro issues the interest rates the bank collapse and all things happening in and around us but right now this is the market psychology going against the market psychology may not look great if this is what happened last time then this time more or less the market is showing you the exact opposite that means you would see some kind of volatility for sure the pattern won't be textbook pattern 100 percent but if you are focused on looking at the price action as much as possible let it be on the macro let it be on the micro now you have an advantage right you get to see what the price action shows you and imagine you are looking to buy XRP and at this point, someone is giving you the idea like, okay, I think this is happening. We are going to break to the upside. Or I think this is it. I'm not looking for a lower low for sure. And you acted upon that. Meaning you took your time, did your research, went through the price action and you agree that it is a fact. Then you now have a massive advantage in the market. And if you are looking for something like that for a lot of different assets inside the crypto market and stock market, commodities, whatever you have in your portfolio as technicals, you want to look at that, then look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description below. If you watch this channel regularly and you're not following me on Twitter, I would say like, okay, it's better to go through that stuff too, because some of these are macro picture, which actually kind of works in with your macro, the micro, the technical and everything before you actually make a judgment because you kind of get to see what these regulators are going to do. You kind of get to see like what's the macro picture in the stock market, what you can expect there and all those things along with the charts which I post, right? So when you actually get to see that, I believe there is something of value for sure. So guys, that's it for today. If you received value for the time, please do hit that like and subscribe button. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.